Use the given data to find the coefficient of correlation between the miles on a car and its listed sale price. So we have our data over here in our X column and our Y column. Typically that's going to be easiest for you to list your, your uh, X data first and then your Y data in Excel. And just, just to show real quickly, if we were going to do this by hand, that coefficient of correlation R, that's, that's what the coefficient of correlation is denoted with the lowercase r. It's the sum of all of the differences, so x minus x bar, that's every one of these x values minus the mean of this column, multiplied by all of the differences of y, y minus the mean of this y column. So the product of those two, uh, and then summed for, for all of those, all divided by the sample size minus 1, that's n minus 1, times the standard deviation for the x column multiplied by the standard deviation for the y column. So you've got all that to do, and that would be very tedious with all of these numbers. You could do it without too much hassle with if there were maybe only five numbers in each column, but we've got a lot. So I'm going to turn to Excel now, and I'm going to use a, um, a function to find the coefficient of correlation. So I'm going to just insert function. The, the function is actually Corel, and so I want to show you, just in case you forget how that's abbreviated. So for correlation, go to uh, insert function, statistical, and then I'm going to go down to something that looks like correlation. Here it is, Corel. And then, of course, it tells you, returns the correlation coefficient between two data sets. So I'll click OK, and then I choose my two arrays. So I'm not going to choose the labels on this one. It's just the numbers. So I click on that, and this one goes down a little bit farther. The data is quite lengthy. nearly there there it is I've got all the data for the X uh, data and then for this second array let's go back up to the top and I'm going to choose all of this list price for the Y data that went down to 136 row Okay, so I've got the, the X data and the Y data. I say OK, and here's our coefficient of correlation. I'm going to write that down. So R equals negative 0 0.876. So we've computed that. We've used Excel to help us. That negative, that means that the, the uh, trend of the data is going to be a negative slope. That's what the negative means on the coefficient of correlation. So I'm also going to show you what this data looks like, the scatter plot of this, so that we can get a better feel of, of what a correlation of coefficient like that looks like. Because the coefficient of correlation goes from negative 1 to positive 1. A negative 1 and, and positive 1 being perfect correlations, where the, the data points are just completely lined up perfectly. And this is going to be, it's going to show a, a nice trend, but of course not completely lined up. So I'm going to actually pick the data first. Choose it all. I know I'm going down to 136. I did choose the labels this time. We've got it. And now I'm going to go to Chart Wizard. So if you see that button, it's, it might look a little bit different for you if you've got a newer version of Excel. Uh, if you don't see it, you could, of course, just type in Chart Wizard into the help and then we click on that, we're going to get the XY scatter. And then next, we're going to choose this very first scatter diagram. Now you can see it right there. There's a nice little view of it. I'm just going to go through because I am going to show this on, on a new page. So value of X, let's just type in real quickly. Miles, legend, I don't want that legend on there. Um, okay, that's good enough. So next and then where do i want it I, I wanted it a new sheet actually just so it's a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit better finish and there it is so the numbers are kind of small but you get this idea of what's happening here 
you get the miles driven on the cars, the x-axis, the list price, and the more miles that are on the car, the uh, the lower the list price. That makes sense, but you can kind of get an idea. There's a definite trend, a definite trend, but they're not they're not bunched up closely along a, a line. And so that's why it's not a perfect negative one correlation, but uh, still pretty high because there's a definite trend there.